Here is an exciting opportunity to start or advance your, your research career. I'm looking for a couple of PhD students to work on the design, the simulation and the fabrication of devices and circuits based on a new transistor concept. You'll be developing a brand new concept and you'll be working with collaborators in the UK and abroad, in industry and in academia. Hi, my name is Radu Spora. I'm a senior lecturer or assistant professor in semiconductor devices at the University of Surrey in the south of England. I've recently been awarded a prestigious research fellowship and in the next few years I'm going to be developing a new technology focused around a new transistor concept. This device has very interesting properties for analog computation, for analog signal processing, but also for anything to do with the next generation of flexible and printed electronics for wearables and for distributed sensors. The project itself is called Alpaca, which stands for a new low complexity paradigm for analog computation and hardware learning. We've recently published a paper in which we demonstrate the basics of this technology. So if you're curious, the link will be in the description. You can have a look at what the concepts are and what are the technologies that perhaps we might use. Now I'm looking for building the right team to put these ideas into action. Most likely I will be recruiting two PhD students, one for each of the major side of the project, simulation and fabrication. And we're talking about the fundamental design of the devices, the circuits, and then the applications and their implementation over the next few years. For the successful applicant, the funding from the university will cover your monthly stipend for the duration of the studentship and tuition fees at the home rate. So if you're an international student, the meaning of which will probably change depending on Brexit by the time this goes out, you will be expected to find a supplementary source of funding for the international fees, perhaps a separate scholarship. The requirements are posted on the university website, but as a general rule, aside from English, you would be expected to have a good degree from a reputable university, preferably at master's level, and depending on which of the positions you're applying to, this could be in computer science or electronic engineering, microelectronics, systems engineering, or even chemistry, physics, or material science. Any industry or research experience would be another plus, as is any sort of demonstrated successful project that is relevant to the research. This opportunity is meant to uh, also advance your career and we will be working with brand new devices with a broad applicability. So we'll publish in the best journals and you will be expected to present the work at the best conferences in the field. And if any of this sounds daunting, remember that the university has a wide variety of training courses and a lot of support networks to make sure that you do get the training and the development that you need. The university is also highly respected in electrical and electronic engineering in the UK, but it also provides an opportunity for us to launch multidisciplinary projects with other members of staff and other research groups within the university. If you'll be joining my team, you'll be adding to the mix of diverse backgrounds and experience, which makes the group dynamic, creative, and enjoyable to belong to. We'll be using the facilities at the Advanced Technology Institute, and we'll be exposed to the wealth of expertise uh, through my colleagues and their collaborators. We also have numerous collaborators in the UK and abroad, and within this project in particular, we'll be working with the National Physical Laboratory, the University of Cambridge, the University of Yonezawa in Japan, and the University of Rennes in France, and very possibly many other research groups that we've linked to throughout the years. In normal circumstances, uh, there will be a very generous exchange program uh, for staff and students, but we don't really know what's gonna happen in the short term with COVID. And if you're concerned at all about the situation, just be assured that there must be some sort of flexibility in the recruitment process and in getting you started once you join, as the international situation changes, hopefully for the better. Get in touch with me if you have any questions, and if you think that this opportunity to join my team is the right next step for you, do apply through the university website, and I look forward to hearing from you.